everyone. Welcome to God on a New Level. Once again, we are Hank and Brenda Kuhneman, and we're coming right where you're at. Not sure where that will be, but we are delighted that you joined us again. You know, Brenda, we've got a great program today. Yes. In fact, it's been really a, a, a start of a great year so That's far. That's right. And God is doing big things. This is the year when he is showering upon us, and we have yes. an expectancy for what the Holy Spirit is doing in 2012. Well, the only thing is, being about a, a new year, it means we're getting older. Well, that's right, but that's okay. You know, that, that's so. part of it. You know, you get. I think you get wiser when you get older. There you go. So we'll that's, say that. Let's, let's just run with wisdom. Wiser, and that's why I have a few gray hairs. I think I'm it's smarter a sign now. Of, of, of wisdom, yeah. <laughs> that's right. Well, we're glad that you uh, joined us today because, Brenda, we're going to talk about a word that God gave us uh, at the beginning of the year. And we've been, you've been preaching yes. it in our church. Yes. In fact, every year we always, you know, mm -hmm. uh, take time out to seek the Lord. In fact, we, yes. we got done with a 21-day fast. It was powerful. Uh, powerful. Powerful time. I encourage people to always do yes. that. But anyway, we finished a 21-day fast. It was powerful, amazing results. And it was in that time that God gave us a word that I want to share with you. Right. And uh, Brenda, I think we should open up our Bibles well, today. Well, let's do it. Uh, I don't know about you, uh, you that are watching, but maybe every year, you know, you get before the Lord and you say, you know, God, what are you saying to me? Yeah, that's what right. is that word that you want to give to uh, us this day and, um, or this year? You know, I was seeking the Lord. I don't know about you, but the last two years, it just seems like, you know, there was a lot of warfare. There was a lot of attacks. Things just didn't seem like they were going good great, you know, and I said, Lord, I need a word, not only for my life, but I need a word for those in the body of Christ, and Brenda, I'm very excited for yes. what the Lord said, in fact, sometimes I always say this, you know, you're looking in your Bible, and you're saying, God, I really need a word, and you start searching, you know, Flip and, open and, to and, that, and then, you know, hoping it's it, you hope right? it is, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> yeah. it's like, you, you get in, you, you look down, and it says, you know, uh, there will be five years of judgment or something like that. Uh, and no, then you're like, no, no that's not no, the that, one. That, that ain't God. And then you do this, you know, okay, now, Lord, you know, here it is, you know, guide my hand, and you turn your Bible every which way. Now, do you think every Christian's done that? I, think I guarantee you, every, have you done that? You Ask yourself, be honest. We're preachers, we've done <laughs> well, we've, we've done that. But, you know, this year was different. I didn't yeah. have to, you know, turn my Bible back and forth. I didn't have to keep, you know, it trying was, to figure out what yeah. God's saying. Here's what he said to me. I was praying on the 21-day fast, and he said, Psalm 65, 11. And of course, I was so excited. I picked up my Bible. I started thumbing through it. I couldn't find the book of Psalms, Brenda. <laughs> now, you know, normally my Bible will open right up to yeah, it. Well, here's what Psalm 65, 11 says. It says this, and I want to give uh, them a couple translations because it's yeah. very powerful in one of them. Yeah. In uh, Psalm 65, 11, for example, um, it says in the King James Version, Brenda, it says, God will crown this year with goodness and our paths will drop fatness. Now, that's yeah. for those that are having a resolution of, <laughs> of dieting, yeah, no. <laughs> uh, dropping fat, that, that's, that's awesome. Well, we'll claim that still but, in Jesus' name. <laughs> but it doesn't mean that. And uh, for those that are watching, it doesn't mean that. What it means is, it means, and the New Living Translation is very powerful. It means this. It means that God will crown our year with goodness and the hard pathways with abundance. I don't know about you, but maybe you've been going through some hard things. Maybe it's been a bad year in the past. But you know what I love about God, Brenda? You know, the Bible says in Exodus chapter 12, when God was calling the people to a time of the Passover meal, you know what he said to them? He said, this month yeah. is going to be the beginning of months. That's, in other words, it's like a start over. A, a fresh duo. start. Yeah. I love that. And, and I think sometimes when people are going through things, you know, they think, well, can it ever get any better? Uh, is God going to give me a break, you know? Mm -hmm. And God's saying, this is a year of goodness. Yeah. And go well, ahead. Well, you know, I, I was just thinking, you know, part of, you know, the goodness of God, you know, human nature just tends mm -hmm. to go negative sometimes. Right. You know, we tend to look at things from the negative perspective. I don't know about you, but sometimes when you can have 10 things go right on any given day, and sometimes the thing you draw attention to is that one or two things that didn't go just right. That's true. And so, you know, the Holy Spirit um, constantly throughout the Bible draws emphasis to the goodness of mm -hmm. God. You, yeah, there are true. so many Bible verses about the Lord's goodness because I think the Holy Spirit wants to reiterate to you and I that we need to focus on the goodness of God and how wonderful He's been in our life and not on all the things that it looks like they're not going quite right. Well, Brenda, in the Bible, you know, I, I know that there's a lot of times that people, you know, they study the names of God. Right. And maybe you're studying the names of God. You know, He's Jehovah yeah. uh, Nisi, Jehovah uh, 
Rapha. He's Jehovah, uh, our peace. Yes, you know, Jehovah, he, our healer. Our healer, right. yeah. And, and one of the things that's powerful about uh, Jehovah, uh, Jireh, for example, the Lord's our provider. In 2 Chronicles 30, there's a scripture It says, uh, the, the, the good Lord. Yeah. And what the good Lord means is yeah. Jehovah good. Yeah, he is good. He's good. In he, other words, that's part of his yeah. name, not only his, his nature, but he's called Jehovah the good. That's awesome. Now think about that. Powerful. You know, how many times have you, you know, spoken and said, Jehovah Jireh, my provider, right where you're at, you could say, you are Jehovah good. You are God who's good. And you know, I want to say this about goodness. Brenda, the definition of goodness for it being the mm -hmm. year of goodness, yes. I want the people to know this. It says in the scripture, it says that God will crown our year with goodness. Yeah. In other words, it's not anything that you're having to do on your own. Yeah. It's not you trying to be good, you trying to make it, you know, some kind of works that you have to create. Yeah. It's God who's <laughs> initiated it. You said something really powerful about that word crown, literally meaning to surround mm -hmm. the year with goodness. You know, That's when true, God right? does something, he's surrounding every part of the year. That word crown to literally everywhere you look, you can find the goodness of God. And so, you know, we need to be looking, I believe, for well, the goodness this year. This year. Even in unexpected places. Well, and, and the definition of goodness is, you know, God's graciousness. Uh, it's his compassion. You know, one of the things that I, I wrote down, what does it mean? It means uh, to be kind, to be generous, to be benevolent, you know, to be gracious. God's going to do all that for you this year. And I'm excited. You know, one of the other things, every time God created, he called the day good. I love that. And what would happen if we take this scripture and we say, God, you have crowned this day, this year with goodness. I believe it's like a magnet, Brenda. It's awesome. It's going to draw the goodness, well, the graciousness of God to us. We're calling for it. Don't you think we're just calling for right. it? Every time we talk about it, we're just calling it to us. Like a magnet. Yeah. And I think in the time of recession, you know, they're, you know, the, what they're saying with the economy and now gas prices, you know, they're saying uh, is going to be, you know, off the charts. Yeah. Uh, the Lord gave a word, by the way, on our website about gas prices years yeah. ago. But I want to encourage you, rather than look at yeah. all the doom and gloom, start saying what God said. Yeah. He said, this, you, are going to have the year of goodness. In other words, don't wake up and turn on the television and say, you know, it's just getting worse and worse. Yes, the world might be going that way. But I want you to know, God, the Holy Ghost, said this year is a year of goodness. That means, and like we were saying, the word goodness, it yes. means he crowns. It means he surrounds us with goodness. Yes. In fact, there's a scripture, Brenda, that I love. It's in the book of Psalm, and I wrote it down. It's uh, Psalm 5, verse 12, and it says, For thou, O Lord, will, will uh, bless the righteous, oh, and like a compass, Jesus. crowns or surrounds us with the shield of favor. I think we ought to pray for the people so. and pray that what God said, the year of goodness, yes. would be theirs. Let's Why don't we go it, ahead let's, and pray, let's, Brenda? Let's, let's minister to the people of God. We want to minister to your life. You may not feel today like things are good for you, but we're going to prophesy and we're going to pray and we're going to get in agreement right where you're sitting and we're going to ask the Holy Spirit to come and flood you with goodness that you will sense. So right now, in the name of Jesus, we pray and we prophesy to your life and we say everything that's out of order, Everything that is trying to steal your goodness experience, we break the power of it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I prophesy to that person that is dealing with sickness in their body. Yes. And I speak healing to yes, you right God. now. You that are in pain, you that are in emotional turmoil. I feel like there's somebody out there that you're struggling with your finances and you think, God, I don't know how I'm ever going to get out. Oh, I say you're going to get out today. And I speak the name of Jesus over your situation. And I declare right now that goodness surrounds your life in the name of Jesus. And I speak prosperity and blessing over you. I decree it as so in the name of Jesus. Now, Father, right now, Lord, as we bring this Lord, moment in the spirit yes. to a close, Bless we say the goodness falls upon yes. your people like hot oil from the Holy Spirit, and we thank you for it. 
This has been Hank and Brenda Kunim, and with another ministry moment, we say God is with you going to another level.